Bees are everywhere. There are millions of them. They create cities and colonies. Their race is much older than the human race. Due to the million years of their existence, they have occupied almost all the territories on Earth that were suitable for habitation. They are the ones who spread around pollination for food and for millions of other living creatures, but at the same time, these cunning, calculating, and well-organized inhabitants of the steppes and forests can be of mortal danger to all the living things that stand in their way and try to hinder the implementation of their plans. Most people learn of these creatures during the first years of their lives from the pictures on daycare cubbies, heavy and uncomfortable costumes, or favorite cartoons. Throughout their lives, people constantly encounter the activities of bees, at least on the level of consumption of honey and other products of their vital activities. Some people even self-torture with the help of these cute striped insects with big, sharp stings. For example, a Cornell University student, Michael Smith, purposely put bees on himself and made them sting his body, even his penis and buttocks, for the sake of a scientific experiment. According to The Independent, the purpose of the young scientist's experiment was to determine the pain level from a bee sting to different parts of the body. I assumed that the most painful sting would be to the scrotum, but it didn't hurt as much as I expected it to, says Michael. The student subjected himself to stings for 38 days, and every day, a bee had to sting him in a new place. According to the results of the long experiment, a sting to the genitalia, although painful, is not as painful as the sting of a nostril. But not everyone handles bee stings as well as this guy. Over 50 cases from bee and other insect stings are registered annually in the USA. In 1998, 48 people died in this country from the hornet, bee, and wasp stings only. More recent studies of mortality due to animal contact in Australia led the University of Melbourne professor Ron Everton to unusual results, which were first published at the end of 2016. The studies have changed the conventional opinion that spiders, snakes, and jellyfish are what's most dangerous in Australia. As it turned out, during the period from 2000 to 2013, most Australians died of bee, wasp, and hornet stings. Out of the 42,000 victims of the poisonous stings, including the lethal cases, 31% were stung by hornets, wasps, and bees. The later ones even surpassed the infamous spiders which account for 30%. The high mortality rate from the venom of various hymenopterans is comparable to that from the bites of snakes and spiders. The scientists attribute this to the fact that people stung by bees and wasps often underestimate how dangerous it is and don't seek medical help in time. The main cause of death is allergic reactions. 1 to 7% of the population are subject to them, according to various estimates. This figure reaches 22% among beekeepers, as each next sting exacerbates the reaction. It should be noted that in the recent years, the number of people with allergic reactions has increased significantly. So what exactly is it in the bee venom that causes such severe consequences as fever, feeling of fear, shortness of breath, abdominal pain, dizziness and vomiting, suffocation, incoherence of thoughts, a sense of doom, loss of consciousness, and even death? The most toxic component of the bee venom is melatonin, a peptide which can destroy red blood cells, activate substances that cause various types of inflammation, increase permeability of vascular walls, and contribute to muscle contraction. The worst part, however, is its enzyme, phospholipase, which makes up to 1 to 12% of the bee venom, can destroy cell membranes and consequently cells themselves. Another substance, histamine, causes allergic reaction, swelling, bronchial spasms, and low blood pressure. Finally, there's hyaluronidase, an enzyme that destroys muscopolysaccharides 
and causes the rapid spread of swelling. But why do bees sting people? Bees rarely attack people, but there are a number of factors which could cause an aggressive response, such as strong smells like perfumes, cream, alcohol, or onions. Moreover, they can attack people because of their sudden movements, which bees and wasps regard as a threat. Worth special attention is the fact that when crushed, the insect releases a specific substance which causes the whole swarm to become aggressive. This way, the person risks being attacked by the whole bee family. Did you know that bees talk through dance? After the bee has found a good place for collecting pollen, it returns to the hive to report its location to the other bees. The information it shared through a special dance on the honeycomb during which the bee moves along a closed curve resembling the figure eight, waggling its belly. The intensity of the waggle depends on the distance from the food and the angle of inclination of the figure eight indicates the direction. We all know perfectly well that bees are hardworking and well-organized creatures, but few people knew the peculiarities of their love relationships. Their reproduction method is simply shocking. It's both one of the most beautiful and most terrible natural processes. Bee mating is a truly amazing act. Tens of thousands of insects soar into the air, forming a swarm and fly 45 kilometers away to their hive. There are very few queens suitable for mating among all those bees. Most of them are drones, which are directly responsible for the mating. There are five to seven drones per queen. When the swarm is formed, the queen starts to secrete a specific smell to attract males. She can mate with several partners until she gets enough semen for successful fertilization, after which the drone's endophallus is often ripped off and remains in the queen's sting chamber. The drone dies instantly, but a tragedy could also happen to a queen if the swarm happens to be near water. The couple can be so busy with each other that they can simply fall into the water and die. The fate of the surviving drones is no less tragic. After the mating process, they are expelled from the hive and die of starvation, as their kind is not fit to live on their own. And now, speaking about males, and more importantly, females, we have finally come to the main question. Can bees sting each other? We won't test your patience and we will give you the answer right now. Yes, bees can sting other bees. Why so? There are several reasons for that. Let's start with the external threat. Bees from a different colony can attack for their own gain, such as theft of honey. In this case, upon their attempt to enter the hive or the nest, they will be attacked by the owners. But these attacks can also be carried out by other species, most often bumblebees. Their stings can cause death, but most often, they just bite and force bees out of their nest. At the same time, a bumblebee can become a member of the colony. It's interesting that the worker bees and some honeybees have their own specific techniques of fighting an external threat in the sting battles. For example, when fighting huge hornets, which are several times larger than bees, Hundreds of bees surround the hornet, forming a tight circle and actively vibrate their wings, thus increasing the temperature and the level of carbon dioxide inside the circle, causing the hornet to die. But there is no doubt that the most vicious and dramatic of all bee fights is the queen's fighting. Queen bees aren't really interested in the working bees from other colonies. Despite how hard they try to be a threat, she only stings and kills the rival queens. As soon as the new queen is strong enough, she inspects the colony. She finds all the other queens, which are still developing, and ruthlessly stings them to death. But let's not demonize bees. These little striped engineers, chemists, and biologists bring many benefits to the animal and planet world, as well as to humans. Even the bee venom, which causes a negative reaction in the human body, can have a therapeutic effect. 
The products of vital activities of bees can improve metabolism, stimulate the immune system, lower blood pressure, reduce the activity of the inflammatory process, and suppress the vital activity of harmful microorganisms, normalize cardiac activity, have a coagulating antispasmodic and analgesic effect, activate the enzyme and hormonal system, Basically, they can perform miracles and save human lives. There was a case of a 27-year-old American who claims that it was the numerous bee stings that saved her from a terrible, deadly disease which she contracted from other insects, ticks. The untimely detected Lyme disease caused by tick-borne bacteria has caused physical and mental disabilities in a young woman in less than a year. She couldn't even think logically. Having lived like this for 15 years, she moved to California where she was attacked by a swarm of hybrid Africanized bees. She thought those were the last moments of her life, but she didn't die. She did recover from the terrible disease though. Apparently, the bee venom substances have destroyed the pathogenic bacteria. It turns out that the melaton, which has already been talked about, can be used as a powerful antimicrobial agent under certain conditions. It fights various bacteria and fungi without the unnecessary chemicals. Many researchers believe that it's also possible to treat arthritis, multiple sclerosis, cancer, and HIV infection this way. Melaton can destroy the protective membrane of a human virus without damaging the other cells in the body, while the virus can't develop a resistance mechanism. This discovery was made by the researchers from the Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis, Missouri. Melaton destroys the inherent physical properties of HIV, said one of the leaders and authors of the research on this topic, Joshua Hood, at a press conference. Theoretically, there is no way for the virus to adapt to this scenario. The protective membrane is vital for it. The scientists hope that in the future, it would be possible to inject specific nanoparts of melaton into the human circulatory system, thus clearing out the virus. So it turns out that bee venom is like nuclear energy. It all depends on how it's being used. Little buzzing insects will not just surprise, but rather shock humanity in the future. And we'll just watch them for now. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed our video, and we'll see you next time.